Weight Watcher Journey. I'm Wendy, and today is Way Day Update, and I wanted to let y'all know what I'm gonna be filming today. So I'm glad you're here. I hope you're having a wonderful morning. It's finally not raining, and it's a little sunny outside today, so I am super happy about that. Now, Way Day, let's talk about that. How, well, first of all, how you like this wet hair? <laughs> I haven't even dried my hair or put on any makeup. So here we are, in living color, all natural. Anyway, um, today I weighed in. Thursday is, is our is our weigh day for both me and Sean. And you know, last week I told you that it would be a miracle if I lost anything and didn't gain. Well, I lost point two. I'm considering it a reprieve, a stay the same. Uh, girl, I felt sorry for you week. I, I don't know. It's a miracle. I don't know how I lost anything and didn't gain two pounds. I had a terrible off the rails eating um, probably the last half of the week. So. I'm making some changes this week and I'm kind of trying to get my head back in the game and just focus on these changes that I'm going to tell y'all about. So anyway, point two for me. Now, Mr. Murray, Mr. Sean, point six down. So he is only 5.6 pounds from goal. I mean, he is doing fabulous. I'm so proud of him. I cannot wait to celebrate him reaching goal weight and all of his hard work and he so deserves it. All right, on to what I'm gonna do today. Now, I decided for the first time ever that I'm going to film what do I eat in a day for a couple reasons. Um, some people have asked me, and mainly I wanna be accountable. I think if I'm, if I'm filming it and being accountable, I'll be able to show y'all. I won't do it every day, for sure. I don't think y'all wanna see every single day what I eat because a lot of days it is the same thing. But I will maybe try to do it once or twice a month and just kind of, let y'all see what I eat during the day and for my accountability because I'm going to make some changes. Um, I went into Healthy Better Balance um, app and, and one reason I like that app, I, I do Weight Watchers, I track Weight Watchers, I track Healthy Better Balance, but Healthy allows me to track my macros. Now, I know a lot of you track just your calories and some of you track all of your macros um, and I like the fact that because I am older and because I do need a certain amount of fat and protein to you know keep from losing a lot of muscle mass. I don't do a huge amount of exercise, hardly any, most of the time, if I'm being honest. But I do need protein to keep my muscle mass. I do need a certain amount of healthy fat um, just to keep my body working and my skin looking, you know, not as saggy as it is. Um, but I was eating what I'm pretty sure is way too many carbs, um, and I just think it's causing some yo-yo with my weight, I think it's causing some um, added hunger because you know carbs, if we're not eating the right kind of carbs. And to be honest, to get over 200 carbs a day, it's not good healthy carbs most of the time. They're, they're just gonna make you hungrier later. And so I think this is some of my problem. I have to balance the amount of fat I have and the kind of protein I have because I do have a cholesterol issue that is a familial um, cholesterol issue. I do take a very low dose statin for it because without it, I have not been able to keep my cholesterol at very healthy levels. So my hope is to try to get completely off medicine. I do not like being on a statin, um, but I also do not want to have stroke level cholesterol like I've had in the past. So it's a balancing game and I'm, you know, I've not gotten there yet. I'm, it's just a work in progress every single day. So I have changed my macro split on Healthy Better Balance. So I'm hoping if I'm more conscious and I'm, I'm showing y'all what I'm eating, that way, if y'all see something I need to change or you make some suggestions, I am very happy for that. So um, I filmed my breakfast this morning and I felt like it was a, a really good healthy breakfast. Um, and so what was eye-opening to me because we all do it. We all eat those fruits that are zero because they're zero. They don't impact our points budget for the day. Um, but we don't really think about what, what is the nutrition content of those items. And um, this morning when I woke up, I wasn't sure what I was gonna have for breakfast. I was a little bit hungry. I grabbed a banana. I grabbed a banana because I love them. They're sweet. They hit the spot. They're a little filling, you know, for the time being. But when I track that in better balance, I really have just never fully paid attention <laughs> to the carbs in a banana. I mean, I should have, I should know. They're very sweet, they're very carby. But it was just like this light bulb went off this morning. It was 27 carbs for my one banana this morning. 
wow. I mean, oh my goodness gracious. That was a, when I tracked the rest of my breakfast, when I did eat a little bit later, my, my full healthy breakfast, it was only, I think like 27 or 28 carbs. I don't, if it, if it even was that, it might not have even been that much. I, I'm not remembering correctly right now, but it was very eye-opening to me. So I'm going to be consciously making some good, healthy choices that I hope helps me stay within that new macro split and just get me eating a little bit healthier. Um, it's all great to stay within that number, you know, 29, 23, 24, whatever you have, but it's a whole different ball game when you're trying to make those numbers count, really truly count and get the most nutrition and bang for those numbers. And I'm as guilty as the next about just, you know, zeros, um, although they're very impactful, calorie wise for your day, but those zeros that don't, don't detract from your daily number. But, um, for me, I really have got to start focusing on the health impact and the, the value that I'm getting for those numbers. So I really think if I'm sharing what I'm doing, that it's going to be accountability for me, it may help somebody else and y'all may have some wonderful suggestions. So we'll see how today goes and, um, whether y'all like the video or not and, and want me to keep doing more of it. Um, I'm going to leave that up to y'all. So, um, because I want to give y'all content that y'all love and that helps you and that is beneficial. So, um, I'm going to jump off here. I've got to go to my office and get some orders done. It's finally not raining and thundering and lightning and I can turn on my machines and get some things out, um, and, um, finish up some orders. So, because I've got a couple other recipes I want to film. I have a black bean brownie recipe that I'm going to do. I'm dying for brownies and this is a very healthy black bean brownie recipe. You won't even know brownies have black beans in them when I'm through with it. And um, there's a couple dips, protein dips that I want to film for y'all. So I got to get some real work done so I can get on here and have a great day with y'all. So I hope your morning goes very wonderfully and um, I'll be back with lunch pretty soon. Y'all have an amazing morning till I get back. For breakfast today, I'm having a cup of my favorite Dunkin' brewed coffee with two tablespoons of zero sugar coffee mate sweet Italian cream. I'm having a third of a cup of mandarin oranges, no sugar added, half a cup of small curd fat-free cottage cheese with cinnamon on top, three ounces of grilled chicken with two tablespoons of hummus. I'm really trying to cut my carbs, increase my protein, and increase my fats. So this is the first meal that I'm trying to do that. Not to lose weight, but to just have a healthier macro balance for my day. As I'm older, I really feel like I'm needing some more healthy fats and the balance between trying to maintain my cholesterol while getting enough fat and protein to maintain muscle mass is a little bit tricky, but this should be a very yummy breakfast. All right, y'all, here is lunch. My Pepsi Zero, I'm allowing myself one of those a day because really I could drink one, one after the other. They're just my favorite beverage besides my Milo's yellow cap tea. So I'm allowing myself one, I have it with lunch usually. I'm having those snapped double cheddar um, Cheez-It snack that I got from Sam's the other day. And I'm having fresh blueberries with a little cinnamon and some light Cool Whip on top for my dessert. And um, this is a little messy, but let me see if I can show it to you. So it is um, tuna salad with light Hellman's mayonnaise, some dill relish, and a little mustard on a spinach um, extreme wellness Olay wrap, and um, some butter lettuce. So my whole lunch is 6.7 bites um, and about probably five or six points. I haven't figured that yet. It is about 41 carbs. So for the day I've had 80, like 88 carbs. So it's really interesting now that I'm, I'm trying to pay attention to that as well. But what I have seen so far in my day already is I don't have enough fat. I only have like 20 grams of fat. So 
I'm going to have to make some changes to get some more fat, healthy fat into my day. So just a work in progress, not perfection, but I think this is going to be really yummy. And I know I could have done without the chips, but I wanted something crunchy and I think we're pretty balanced overall. So anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy my lunch. See you soon. Okay guys, here is dinner. I have air fried salmon and asparagus. I have 10 asparagus spears and my salmon has a little bit of low sodium soy sauce and um, Trader Joe's dill sprinkle on it. And for my dessert, it's uh, about a quarter cup of Greek fat free yogurt with two ounces of fresh blueberries and a little bit of lemon extract and fresh cinnamon. So that is a super yummy extremely low point i think only well i don't think there's any points for this dinner at all it is a zero and it is very very low to no carbs so i'll come back at the at the end in just a little bit and give you a grand total for my day hey y'all i wanted to come on and finish up this video today um, what did I eat today? It's the first time I'm going to be posting this, as I told you this morning, so we'll see how it goes. It's been kind of an eye-opening day for me. Um, I didn't know how today would go. I didn't know if I'd be hungry, not be hungry, um, you know, cutting out um, a good portion of my carbs and, um, you know, changing that macro split, but I wanted to see if it would balance out this crazy hunger that I've been having because I know I've been having too many carbs and not the right kind of carbs. So, Today was really focused on trying to, to be balanced. And I've got a few areas that I need to work on, like especially like healthy fats, which would increase my calories, increase my fat grams for the day, but not increase my carbs or protein. So I'll be working on that. You know, it's just, it's just progress, it's not perfection. So the positive thing is though, I've not been snacking and hungry today. So let me tell you how I've wound up as far as, you know, bites and points and, and my macros. So, I wound up, now this was a little, I don't know if it should be surprising or not because I ate a lot less processed carbs today. So, um, point wise, I wound up with 14 points for the day out of 29 and I wound up with 14.9 bites out of 29. So, it's a big discrepancy there, but I was, I was pretty close in calories. I was at um, 1482 out of 1800. Now, that's, that's not bad for the day, actually. Um, like I said, if I add some healthy fat, that's gonna add some calories, and it's going to increase my, my um, fat macros, and I need to do that. So, um, not, not too far off on the calories. Um, protein, I needed to have 135 after I changed my split, and I wound up with 137.5, so bang on on that. Carbs, I needed to have 135, and I wound up at 114.3. So, not not too far, crazy below. I'm I'm getting there already. And then my fat grams, I needed to have 80, and I had 58.4. So again, just a um, getting in some healthier oils, healthier fats in my day. Um, I'll be able to accomplish that with no problem. And I really need the healthy fats. I need it for my skin. I need it to help you know distribute all the nutrients through our body you know we need healthy fats we don't need a fat-free diet so i think i'll be able to easily easily accomplish that so it's not bad on my very first day of changing my macros and really really focusing on getting good healthy quality in my day and not just filling my day with those points and eating the wrong kind of carbs so i'm very happy now Tell me in the comments below if you're doing anything like this, if it's made a difference in your day. Um, I always love to hear from y'all what's what you're doing. And um, also tell me if you wanna see more of these videos. I, I do tend to eat same, same sometimes, but I'm gonna to try to be better about that too. Have a little more variety in my day. So please tell me if you would really like to see um, more videos like this from me because I've just, I've just never posted it because I didn't know if you'd be interested or not. But Anyway, we'll see how it goes. So I want you to get out and do something for yourself today. It's still early, it's still light outside. It's beautiful here, it's cooled off. So maybe take a walk, maybe plan tomorrow's meals, um, you know, read a book, just, 
just even just de-stress from your day. Um, I want you to love yourself a little bit today and just realize that you are worth the time putting in on yourself. Just like this, this extra work I did today from, for myself, planning my day a little bit better and trying to really think about what I'm eating. You know, that's loving myself. That's, that's putting myself first because I'm trying to get better health. I'm not trying to lose weight. I'm trying to maintain, but I'm trying to wind up healthier. I have, you know, a lot of more years left on this earth, I hope, and I want them to be healthy. I don't want to be like my beautiful friend Rose says. I don't want to be a burden to somebody. I want to be really energetic and, and live as long a happy life as I can. So I think today was a good start for that. So I love you. I appreciate you being here. If you're new, I'm so happy you found me today. And please like and subscribe and share so you can be part of friends and family here on my channel. And I will see you on my next video. Y'all have a wonderful night.